How's it going, crew? This is Happy Days, and welcome to another episode of our Terraria Easy Farm series, where we make farms using resources that would be available to you at the time in the game when you're up to farming for a particular thing. Today we're going to be making a hard mode farm that you can pretty much make as soon as you get to hard mode, and all it needs is some pirate maps. And I got the idea listening to some people chatting on one of my videos in the discussions, the comments. And they were talking about slime stars, so they were talking about good ways to use them. And I thought, well, you know, how about using slime staffs with the pirate invasion and just seeing, like, how well it works as a money-earning exercise. So, basically, this character is from one of my Let's Plays called Arthas. He's a paladin. And uh, I thought I'd use him because in the Let's Play I was doing, he just started hard mode. So what we've got here is a chest just with some of the resources you'd expect to have. Um, I've got spider gear for summoning because, you know, that's something you can get right at the start of hard mode. And before people go, oh, festive wings, oh, you can't get them at the start. Um, the reason I've got these accessories here is you'll notice they've all got 4% damage on them. And the trick to this farm is we're manipulating the damage amount on the slime staffs. I was looking for a sweet spot in damage versus speed. So I'll, count, I'll talk more about that later. All right, so the first thing we need to do is smooth out an area here. So we're in a nice flat location. So we're going to take our... Um, have I got an axe? <laughs> I haven't used this character for a while. <laughs> have I got an axe? <laughs> Video's off to a great start, Happy. <laughs> I'm sorry. I think I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay, now I'm laughing and I can't stop. Alright, the first... Okay, focus. <laughs> the first thing... Other way, guide. The first thing we... <laughs> okay, the first thing we're going to do is... We're going to build the basis of our trap. And I'm using snow, snow bricks because, I don't know, they look kind of cool. And you can make snow bricks just out of snow. Um, so yeah, it's pretty easy. And all you want to do is build a little uh, platform, I suppose, off the ground, just above your head. Okay. And then from that, you want to build 14 blocks up into the air. So 14. So we're going to be creating a bit of the volcano design. And the point of that is we're making a bit of a funnel where all the mobs are going to fall in. And it's high enough where the sun... The the slum the slime stomach stomachs. <laughs> oh, I'm laughing today. Oh, I mean, I laugh every video, but I'm laughing even more. Okay, so we want it so the mobs can all go in, but the slime summons can't get out. And then all you want to do from there, guys, is just build downwards. And I didn't bother counting how far it needs to go out. Because, basically, you just have to make this staircase go all the way to the ground. Um, and the point of this is, th is that the pirate mobs are going to walk their way up and then fall in there. And then we're going to, yeah, sort of um, smash them. <laughs> smash them with slimes. So, and what I'm going to do... I'm not using wire or anything. I'm just going to dig a little tunnel under to get to the farm nothing too fancy and then let's just whoa 666 didn't even realize there we go so what we'll do I'll make it look pretty later but this is just like an entry into our farm and then I just need to do the same thing on this side so I'll speed this bit up and we'll come back when uh, I've got the pyramid built see you soon Okay, welcome back guys. 
So I'm just smoothing the edges uh, of the trap and that's to help the parrots fly up along there. And I just went and bought some uh, wires and wrenches and all that good stuff because I'd like to actuate the entrance and where did the... Ah, yes. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. Okay. So just making a nice simple entrance here. And remember you can buy uh, wrenches and all that pre-hard mode from the mechanic NPC. So that's cool. Should I let the guide in? He's probably more likely to survive. In you come guide. Come on slime, attack him. Okay, so uh, what we're going to do is get geared up here. So let's put on the spider set. And what we're going to do is manipulate the... Oops. I'll put my accessories in the social slot so they don't give stats. So you can see that I've got a godly slime staff and a shoddy one. And when I was playing with this farm, I was looking for the perfect amount of damage that uh, kills the pirates fast, but not that fast um, that you can't farm them for coins at the same time. So here's where the accessories with the 4% damage come in. Notice I've picked accessories that don't add any stats to your weapons. Okay guys, here we go. We're all ready. We've got 12 uh, slime damage on our little slimy slimes. And let's summon the first pirate invasion. And basically what I'm going to do is keep track of the time during it. So I'm timing it on my phone. And yeah, we're sort of looking for, you know, how long does it take? Let's get rid of any cash we've got. So we're looking, how much money do we earn? How much items do we get? Okay guys, so just as uh, our slime's finishing off the pirate captain there, uh, we came in at about uh, 8 minutes, it was 8 minutes 15, using a slime staff with 12 damage during the pirate invasion, and with that last kill we earned 3 platinum and all this loot in the 8 minutes. So 3 platinum, we got a key mold and some golden stuff, which is pretty cool. Hey guys, thanks as always for spending some time with me today, I really appreciate it. Uh, it was kind of fun doing this farm and what I really like is that you could change that if you wanted to and play around using different summons and different damage types, uh, different damage amounts. So yeah, have a play with it and let me know in the comments what you come up with. Alrighty, time for some shout outs as always, we've got Jonathan Stevenson. And we're starting with a joke here. So, why did the belt get arrested? And have a second to think about that. And it's because it was holding up jeans. <laughs> oh, gosh, love it. All right, Peterson Patterson YTs. Ask me to say really quick. Dogs and cats eat food because that's logic and why would they die without food? Da -da, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> So what I took from that is you need to feed your dogs and cats because they like food. Nice one. Thanks for that, uh, Peterson Patterson. Uh, we've got Matthias Kra has asked me to say, you are the best. <laughs> you are the best, Matthias. You're all the best out there. Nice one. We've got Ballistic Cookies asked me to say, I bought a chocolate chip cookie because chocolate chip cookies, they're amazing. They're amazing. Awesome. And to finish this off, Blendy Crescinci. Krasinki, Krasinchi, I'm pretty sure it is, has asked me to say, what if there are aliens? Uh, in Jaden Smith's voice, but I can't quite do it. And what movie is that from? Is that from that After Earth one with Will Smith as well? I think it might be. All right, guys, thanks as always for watching. Leave that like. You know I love it. I'd love to log on and, and see the few people giving a thumbs up. Makes me happy. And uh, comments are appreciated. Uh, you'll notice I've been getting back into the comments. Um, going back to some of my older vids trying to catch up and uh, if you haven't subscribed yet consider joining us We've just hit 15,000. I'm super excited. You guys are making me so happy I've Got so many awesome people to hang out with. I love it 
And uh, we're doing our next giveaway at 20,000, so it's not long now. All right, guys, stay happy. I'll see you next time. This is Happy Day signing out. See ya! And you can see that the Ice Golem's doing a bit of a dance here to his uh, rave disco tunes and his uh, fireworks are going everywhere here. And he's having a great time.